Hey guys! So I'm doing a different kind of video today. I'm thinking about titling it like Book Nook, I think. Um, but I'm doing a book review and I am loving this series. I, I, I just... Okay, so the author of the book, I'm in a couple of different book groups on Facebook and she's in that group and I friended her and we've been friends on Facebook for a little bit and I I have another friend who I will link her page Crystal she does book reviews and I was like that's really cool so I decided to do a book review and I um, asked the author if she would send me a book so I could review it and do a video for you guys and she did and I read it in less than a week <laughs> that's how good the book was um so the author's name is Louise Bay, B-A-Y, like the Bay. <laughs> um, and she um, lives in England. And she has a, actually a lot of books. She actually has another ser another book coming out on the 15th. Um, and I read like... Previously, I had read like three of her books. Um, one's like, oh God, now I'm going to forget what it's called. One's A Week in New York, A Week in London, and I forget the third one, but they're really, really good. Um, so if you've read Fifty Shades of Grey, you know that there are so many different books out now along the same lines, C kind of. Um, but I like this is different. I feel like when I was reading the book, Fifty Shades is romantic, but I feel like this is a little bit more romantic. Um, it still gets into the details, n not over the top of their sexual escapades. <laughs> I couldn't think of a word. Um, but you can still, like, when I was reading it, it was like, oh, but that's, like, romantic, too. Like, I just, I really liked it. So, um, it takes place in London and around there. Um, I'm not too familiar with London, but I love that because I've always wanted to go to London. And I just, I love, I love that it takes place there. I love that the author's from there. Like, I just, I love it. And... I don't know if you guys do this too, but when I read, I kind of like do it in an accent, like the way that they would sound and just, it's neat to hear different, um, just the way they communicate differently over there than here. It's just, it's just really neat. So it takes place in London and the two main characters are Joel and Ava and they started out as friends. And they're in uh, school, they're in college, or what they call over there, university. And um, they have like a mutual couple, well, it's mainly one mutual friend. But then they all end up having like this whole group of friends together. Um, and the nice thing about this book, and it really is good to do it this way, because it makes you think like, oh my god, what's going to happen next? And this is why I couldn't put it down, is that she... Sorry, Carissa's over here playing a game. She, um, the way she writes it is she starts off in the present about, you know, things that are going on with Joel and Ava, and they hadn't seen each other in eight years, and it, they hadn't really talked to each other, like nothing. Um, and it's like, oh, I wonder why that is. And then it goes to the past and how they met. And it kind of like keeps going back and forth and back and forth. And through the whole book, like, it's like, okay, why haven't they, you know, talked to each other in like eight years and, and seen each other? And I mean, granted, he was in New York, but I mean, they could have Skyped or, or whatever. But, um, Go. so definitely like, throughout the whole book it keeps you on your toes and it's like okay did they not get together because maybe they ha do you need help yes okay hold on i'll be right back sorry about that i just put this game on the phone for her and she was getting confused anyway um so i love that she goes back and forth because you really get to know 
the characters in the book and I love how their relationship builds up and they really just started out as friends and Ava has always had this kind of like crush on Joel and she had, you know, met him once before, but he's like this popular, very handsome type of guy and he's not rich, but then he ends up becoming rich because he, um, builds this company and Ava ends up being a lawyer. So they, I like that it like, um, they aren't starting off rich. They're creating their own lives and building it up. And it's really, really good. I loved it. I could not put it down. Like it would get to like 11 o'clock midnight and I'm be like, oh God, I'm so tired. But I didn't want to go to bed because I knew I'd be laying there thinking about the book and I was I truly was um and the, and the one thing that I really really liked at the end is that she posts a playlist and I asked her about that I said is that something you listen to while you're writing the book and she said no that's just something that she came up with um almost like a soundtrack to the book and I was like that's cool I really really like that um I love the ending and I just, I think it is such a good book. Um, so yeah, if you're into those kind of books, definitely look into it. It's very well written, well written. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I loved it. I really, really loved it. Um, I will post down in the description bar um, her name, the name of the book. I'll post a picture of the book. I will post all the links of where you can buy the book. And, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I hope this helped you want to go out and buy it. I, I just, it really, it really is good. And I'm not just saying that, like there are certain authors out there that I like and the way they write, you really get sucked in. And that's exactly how her books are. Um, so yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.